What's up YouTube and everyone watching this video. In today's video, I'm going over how to start a YouTube channel, a beginner's guide in 2019 and also 2020. And I'm also going to leave down below in the description a PDF guide of everything that I go over today in this video. I'm James Cook. If you're new to my channel, I make business tutorials right over the shoulder. I also give business advice from experience and I also go over some personal development stuff. If you like that type of content, I encourage you to click the subscribe button down below, click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. I always try to pack them out with a lot of value. So in the video that I'm gonna go over, I'm actually gonna share my screen soon, but before I share my screen and actually show you from the beginning to the end of actually logging into a Gmail and creating a YouTube channel if you're a beginner, I'm gonna start with some basic stuff that I really think is very important. Now, if you're new to YouTube, and even if you've been dabbling in YouTube, it's very important that you understand that you wanna pick a topic that you're going to brand and optimize your channel around. A topic that you're familiar with or something that you've learned, a skill set you have. For an example, if you're really good with yoga and you wanna kind of go over yoga tutorials and make a yoga channel, you should really focus in on that because the more you focus in on it, the more valuable your content is, the more you know about that, the easier it is to make videos and also the better optimization you can get. And you'll learn more about this as I go through my over the shoulder tutorial later. So you really wanna pick a topic that you're familiar with, that you know about, that you can add value in. And then the second thing is actually value-based content. Really starting off, you wanna make how-to videos, tutorials, over the shoulder, really giving people information for things that you know about that they're searching for that you can help them out with. It really works well on YouTube. Another thing is consistent content. Once you start going, don't stop. Don't stop the momentum because you never know what video is gonna take off. I always say you're one video away and you never know which one's gonna take off, which one people are going to socially share, which one people are really gonna give you the encouragement and the engagement that you need. So consistent content is key. Those are the three main things when you first starting off that I always tell people is making sure that you're ready to dedicate to one main focus topic. Like me, I talk a lot about business and personal development stuff. They go hand in hand. I've been through a lot the last 10 years of my life in and out of different businesses, coaching different business owners, coaching small businesses, consulting with people personally, right? So from all this experience, different types of training, I take that all in, absorb it, take action with it, learn from it, grow from it, got to experience a lot in business and life so I could actually share that experience. And I love that stuff. And people come to my channel and I can actually optimize my channel for that stuff and be found just like you're watching me now. And this is all from experience. You wanna do the same thing. Focus on a topic that you can really add value. And at the end of the day, that's what it is too. You really gotta put work into your videos so that you're not just making some clickbaity BS videos that don't really do anything for anyone, that are just not really valuable. You wanna have value in there that's really educating, showing people how to, really giving your honest advice, honest opinion, and from your experience, showing them certain things. And again, being consistent. And this is something that you have to be accountable for. You have to start taking action and start being accountable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in and share my screen and actually show you. If you're a beginner, here goes step by step, logging in, creating a YouTube account. And bear with me here because it is a little bit long, but it's important, especially if you're a beginner, so that you could pause, go back. And also the things I'm going to be going over, such as optimizing your tags and your title, I have other videos that are just specifically on those. So you can watch this video, get the basic overview, but just know I'm also gonna link down below in the description specific videos that go over specific topics that I pinpoint. We're gonna jump into the video now. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. I went to gmail.com. That's what you wanna do. Type that in your browser, gmail.com. If you already have a Gmail that you're going to be using for your YouTube channel, you can use that. You're going to log in. If you don't have a Gmail, then what you wanna do is click right here, create, and you're either gonna pick for myself or to manage my business if you have a business. Now, I already have a Gmail, so we're gonna go step by step. Again, you can create your account and log in. If you have a Gmail, you're gonna log in like I'm doing right now. I'll just put my password in. Okay, so once you get into your Gmail account, it should look like this. The next thing you want to do is click up on these apps, these 
six little dots right here and a drop down is going to come and you want to click on YouTube. Now it's going to open YouTube. Now if you're new to YouTube and you never created a YouTube account yet, it's going to look like this. There's going to be a profile pic here that's empty. And what you want to do is click on that. And if you are already have a Gmail account, you can go actually go right to YouTube and just click sign in. You'll see a sign in button. You can click that as well. Then come up over to this profile, click this, and click on your channel because this, this should be the first time you're coming here. And this should pop up. When this pops up, what you want to click on is use as a business or other name. Click on that. You want to make sure that you click on this. Okay, and then you're going to name your your account. This business is called Orlando AC Repair Guys. And their channel is about air conditioning and HVAC stuff. Create. The next thing we want to do, we want to make sure this channel is optimized. Now before I get into that, I just want to reiterate something. Remember, I'm telling you to pick a topic that you know about. Something that's really focused on, on something that you're skilled at, that you know about, or that you have experience with, right, when you're starting out on YouTube. Obviously, these guys are going to be talking about air conditioning repair, air conditioning tips, all about AC units, HVAC, maybe some plumbing, stuff like that because they have tons of experience in that. So they're going to optimize their channel around that. This is the name of their brand. You saw that we use it as a business account when we signed up. We put the name of their brand, so that's the name of their company right there. Now we got to customize and optimize the channel so that it fits the theme that we're going to be talking about. And that is why in the beginning I tell you to pick a topic that you know about because we're going to super optimize the channel so that it's very, very relevant to all the videos that you're putting out. This way YouTube knows what your channel's about from your on-page optimization and your channel optimization. And then the other thing too I want to make sure that you understand again, you're going to be putting value-based content out especially if you're new on YouTube, to get the best traction, you want to be putting out how-to videos, tutorials, advice, stuff that you know about that's just giving free information. So the way we're going to optimize it is, you see this screen, we're going to come back up here to this profile picture up here, click on it, and we are going to click YouTube Beta. Just click Got It. Close this. Once you're on this screen, click Settings, then click Channel right here. And we want to start adding keywords for our channel. And we're going to put a comma after every keyword. So I know this is going to be about AC repair tips, air conditioning, HVAC, air conditioning repair. I'd also put home improvement. I'm also going to put where they're located, Orlando AC repair. So I usually like to put around six to 10. I'm gonna leave this here. We could always add more. I just wanna show you where you go and find this to add your main key terms about your business and the topics that you're going to be talking about. This is where you want to add them so that Google and YouTube know exactly what you're optimizing your channel for. And then also make sure you set the right country right here. United States, that's done. And then you want to click save. And then that will be saved. Now I'm just gonna go into settings again to show you a couple of quick things too. You want this to be on US dollar, channel again, now you see everything saved there. You'll have your main keywords there for your topics you'll be talking about on your channel. Advanced, this is stuff where you can, if you don't want anyone to see the number of subscribers you have, you can unclick this so no one can see your subscri subscriber count, but I wouldn't worry about that. So if you click this, then you're selecting an option and you can read right here, personalized ads will not be shown on videos on your channel. I wouldn't even worry about that now. Really, I just want to wrap your head around optimizing it. And then under branding is where you put your watermark. And again, I wouldn't even worry about that, but this is where you would find it if you wanted to put a watermark into the corner, maybe your logo or a little graphic or your initials right there in every video. Uh, you could end up doing that later on. This is where you'd find it. But really what we're sticking to is basic stuff right now. So we optimize the channel keywords. Remember, you like to use about six to 10. 
And now what we're going to do is talk about keywords. And usually when you optimize your channel keywords like we just did, you pretty much know what you're talking about, right? You know about your industry. You kind of know all the topics you're going to talk about. So you could put your broad keywords in there. For an example, if you're a yoga instructor and you're starting a yoga YouTube channel, you would put yoga instructor, yoga tips, anything that's around yoga that you know is broad and big, you would optimize your channel for that. Then what we're going to do now though is to learn even deeper on keywords. We're going to use a few tools. The first tool we will be using is actually, it's called Keywords Everywhere and it's a Google Chrome extension and I'll show you what it looks like if you're unfamiliar. We're going to put in here AC Repair Tips and you'll see here it's showing me the amount of search volume that this keyword gets per month. It shows me related keywords and again this is just called keywords everywhere it's right here it's a free Chrome extension if you just Google keywords everywhere you could download it activate it and it's going to pull this data for you if you're a yoga instructor when you put those words in here let's just see some yoga tips let's put it's really important to look at these terms because we want to gauge what people are searching for in Google and it just gives us some relevant topics that number one we could talk about on our channel because people are looking for answers and if we know about that we could position ourselves as an expert but also it gives us some ideas if we wanted to go and add some of these terms to our optimization of our channel overall now again they should be when you're optimizing your channel they should be at a broader level like yoga yoga instructor it could be yoga poses, that's fine. Yoga tips, definitely, because that's what you're going to be doing. Yoga tutorials, that type of broad stuff. We're going to get much more specific when we get into titling our videos. So I just wanted to show you that one tool. This is how we get some keywords. The next thing we're going to do is jump into YouTube, and I'm going to show you another tool. So I'm over on YouTube now. And remember, my guys do everything on AC units. So I typed in AC unit. And what I like to do is I'll just click space after that word. You're going to start noticing suggested search terms. And remember, I got keywords everywhere logged in. So it's showing me some also search volume around here. AC unit not blowing cold air. Wow, this is a perfect tip video for my guys to make. So what I'm going to do is click on that and see who's up here. Four ways to fix AC unit fan not blowing cold air. So the other tool I'm using over here is called TubeBuddy. Again, it's another extension for YouTube. You could just Google TubeBuddy. There is a free version. I'm using the paid one. But what I like about this is it shows me some of my competitors' stuff and also some related search terms. So I could get some more key terms that go along with this. So now I know what people are searching for. I could look at competition, how competitive it is. So let's just click on this, guys, right here. And this is going to give me a whole bunch of stuff. His tags, his description I can see. I can see how many views, right? All this information, how many likes he got from on this video. And it just lets me kind of see how he optimizes this video and the type of traction he's getting. Now, again, remember, my guys make all these AC type of tip videos, this is going to be a perfect topic for them where I could see that it's getting searched. So I would write this down and now I know this could be a future topic that we want to optimize for later on when we're creating content, video content for the YouTube channel. Now I don't want to overwhelm you if you're new, but the biggest takeaway here is me to show you that we're looking for terms that are getting searched. So you can see I'm having that Keywords Everywhere plugin in, and you see this term gets searched 590 times per month. This is a good term. There's people looking for an answer to this. And let me just show you another example. Yoga for weight loss. Remember, we're looking for terms that get somewhat of a search volume. This gets really good search volume. It's probably going to be a little competitive. I just want you to take away from this is we want to look for terms that people are searching for that we could use our expertise to give them an answer and help them out. Okay, so now you understand keywords. Now we're back on the fresh new channel. I also want to bring to your attention that right now I am in the new YouTube Studio beta. It's a different dashboard than you, that YouTube used to have. Unfortunately, they just recently 
changed over to this but there is a way I don't know if they're always gonna have this that you could go back to the Creator Studio Classic if some of you already have a YouTube channel and you're wondering why mine looks a little different then right down here you could click Creator Studio Classic it's gonna ask you why you're coming out of YouTube Studio Beta and you could just say a specific feature that I need is missing whatever you want to use as an excuse submit and it's going to open up the, back to the old classic version if you're used to this and I just want to make this clear so I don't so I don't skip anything and this way everyone's getting what they're looking for so this is what the old dashboard looks like if you're new to YouTube then you could stay in the new version because I think they're gonna end up rolling that one out completely and getting rid of this one eventually so if you are on this classic one though the way you would optimize your channel with keywords is going here to channel going under advanced and then putting them in here but as you can see I already have the keywords from the YouTube studio beta already in here again wherever you optimize it it's gonna transfer over whether you're in creator studio and then you move over to studio beta it will be there but I just wanted to show you in case you're kinda of looking like why does this look different if you already had a YouTube channel the next thing I just want to talk about quickly is a YouTube algorithm and just so you understand this so you heard me going over keywords now as you're loading up videos you're gonna be loading up videos with keywords that are that are optimized around those videos maybe we start using this keyword in one of our videos AC unit not blowing cold air and we'll give them a tip or a troubleshooting video here's a great one AC unit not blowing cold air troubleshooting so we'll make a video around this and we have to understand something YouTube algorithm and when I'm talking about the algorithm they have an algorithm that puts these videos in order now obviously you want to rank high on page one of YouTube because if somebody's looking for this and they're looking for a tip or advice or help troubleshooting their AC unit blowing whoever is positioned at the top of YouTube is going to get most of the clicks look this guy made this video he has 292,000 views one year ago great views and he probably has this because he has some authority on YouTube already but you want to also understand that there's an algorithm to this and the more engagement you're getting the better on your videos that's why you want to make sure that number one people are staying on your videos how do you get people to stay on your videos by giving really good advice and tips or tutorials and really know what you're talking about not something that's clickbaity not something that's quick and not answering in the question because then people are gonna click off you want people to watch your video and you want engagement you want comments you want likes along with optimizing your video with the right keywords and then also when you have outbound PowerPointing in for example if somebody shares your video across their Facebook page or someone shares your video on their blog that power YouTube also considers as a ranking factor so you want shares you want to get likes you want other people linking back to you you want to really make value-based content that's really going to help you there is a YouTube algorithm that ranks you high and that's what's going to get you the views by being high on page one of YouTube for the search terms that people are searching okay so now that you have that you're probably asking alright so I set up my YouTube channel I optimize it with some keywords I kind of understand now how to find some keywords that I should be using in my videos alright how do I do the rest well the next thing would be to upload an actual video so right here up at this top right next to your profile right next to the bell you'll see that little video icon with the plus you click on that and then you would click upload a video now you could go live and that would be you on your camera live but I suggest just uploading videos that you already created starting off so we're gonna click upload and I'm gonna upload a video here so this screen will pop up you wanna click on this red arrow select files to upload go over to wherever your file is whether it's in desktop or downloads here's the video we're gonna use just for an example we're gonna choose it it's going to start uploading we're going to delete whatever is in the title here and the next thing we want to do this is very important is add a title if we were making a video about that AC repair term right here we would want to put this in our title because that's the first place that we want to optimize this is where your title goes and we want to make sure that every first letter is capital that's the other thing I usually have this all written out already in a Google Doc. I suggest you do that too. You could write 
your titles out after you do all your keyword research. You could write your description out almost like a mini blog post and you could also write all your tags out. Now these are really important. These are very very important to optimize your video that you're making. You already optimized the channel like we did in the beginning but now when you upload your first video, your first video should be giving a lot of value-based information about this topic. So it would be value-based information that my fellow guys are making around AC unit not blowing cold air troubleshooting and they're showing you how to fix that and troubleshoot it and really giving good information. And then in the description area, you want to optimize this as well by always staying on this topic and almost writing like a mini blog post. I like to write about three or four paragraphs that are all about this and also using the keywords that go around it. Definitely in the first description, I would write something like this. Okay, I just paused it real quick and came back so that you could see how I'm doing this. Main term, we know it's getting searched from our keyword research, something we know about, made a video about it, uploaded the video. Here's our title, optimizing the title, AC unit, not blowing cold air, troubleshooting. Here is our description, like a small blog post. And I would have wrote a little more, I just didn't want to take up too much time. If your AC unit is not blowing cold air and you need troubleshooting, watch this full video. Air conditioning blowing hot or warm air is a common thing and there can be many reasons for why cold air is not coming out of your vents. Again, I'm using a different type of way of saying it from doing my keyword research. And then at the end, I wrote, feel free to give us a call if you are in the Orlando area. And obviously you'd put your phone number there or visit our website and obviously you put your website there. And again, that's because even though they are going to be making a lot of tips and tricks for anyone around air conditioning and HVAC, they do still have a company where they service. So there's always a call to action in the description as well. Next thing we come down to is tags. Tags, you have up to 500 characters to add in your tags. You can't go above 500 characters. So what I usually like to use is something like word counter. So I'm on wordcounter.net and I'm just going to paste in, remember I would have my keywords, my tags, my description, everything written down in a Google Doc already before I upload the video. So I could just copy and paste it, it's just so much easier to do that. I went to wordcounter.net and you see I always stay below 500 characters when I'm in wordcounter.net. This has 454, so that's perfect. So I would take these, copy them, come back to my channel, go to tags, paste them in. Now I have my tags that are all optimized. I have, and remember I got my tags from using my keywords everywhere and also TubeBuddy so I could see what other people are using, keywords that are getting searched. And then I have my description optimized, kind of that's like a little mini blog post, put a call to action in there as well. And then I have my title super optimized. So now I'm ready to click publish. My video will be live and my video will be optimized. Now over here to the right, if I didn't want the public to see my video when I click publish, I could leave it unlisted and then it would still be on my on my back end where I could watch it and if I shared a link with anyone they can see it sometimes I use this for my clients if I gotta give private tutorials I'll actually make a video I'll unlist it so no one can see it but if I share that link with my client they can watch it private keeps it private completely and then you could also schedule out videos sometimes I use this but most of the stuff that I'm doing me and my team we keep it on public and we just have everything ready to go. We would fill all this in from our Google Docs, click publish once the video is up, and then the next phase is video thumbnails. Now video thumbnails are so important because people don't realize that this is what helps your video stand out and get clicks, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I searched our term right here in YouTube again, and then these are thumbnails. What you see, the picture over the video, that's a thumbnail. This is what makes it stand out. So this guy kind of added a nice graphic. See that air conditioning, not cooling enough, so it stands out, catches your eye. This really isn't that great. Let me see. Uh, here, two, two easy checks when AC is not cooling. See, it seems like this guy, the heir of authority. See, he is a perfect guy that I would be spying on because he's doing a lot of air conditioning tips. So we want to check out his channel. My team will do that for my client so that you get some ideas. Again, but you see his thumbnails are nice. They stick out. Very important that you're making catchy thumbnails. You could get those thumbnails made too. If you you know don't feel like you're overwhelmed, you could go on Fiverr and get these things made for a few bucks. If you're not familiar with Fiverr, just Google Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. 
you'll find it they do graphics and stuff over there once we have the thumbnail created whether you create it or you have a graphic designer create it on Fiverr or whoever does it for you once you have it on your computer and ready to go what you're going to do is come over here now we're in studio beta the back end again and on studio beta you see this is where you would put the title this is where you could put the description I was showing you in the old creator studio the classic mode but they're very similar it just looks a little more updated so the way you would add your thumbnail you would click here now because we're a new channel and I'm happy that we're doing this because many of you are new you see if we hover over this it's not letting me click it and I'll show you why it's not letting me click this because we're not verified yet. So it wants to verify the channel. Click verify. You're going to have to verify your account right here by phone. And then we'd have to put a phone number in. I actually have to get my client to do this. And it's late right now, so he won't be able to do this. But I would put my client's cell phone number in because it's going to be linked to him. And then I just click submit. He's going to get a code. A little box is going to pop up to put the code. And then, boom, it's verified. Once it's verified, that's when we could go back to, to here, click here as a thumbnail, a little box is going to pop up just like how we upload our video, and you just find the thumbnail image, click it, and then make sure right up here this will be blue, click save, and your thumbnail will be saved. It's that simple. Now, if you are on the Creator Studio Classic, let me show you in there as well. I'm just going to pick this as an excuse again to get out of the new studio beta to pick a thumbnail here there would be a thumbnail image here that says add thumbnail now you're seeing your account is not eligible for custom thumbnails learn more it's because they want me to verify it again once my client verifies it a little box would come here just like you saw in studio beta I would click it I could upload it from my desktop my downloads and then boom I would click here blue save changes and my thumbnail will appear this thumbnail you want to make catchy you want to make it stand out. You don't want to just pick some of these blurry images that are getting pulled from your video. It looks terrible in the search engine. A nice thumbnail. You can see your competitors. I suggest you do that so you can get some ideas. Maybe use your brand colors. And always put a catchy thumbnail so you stand out, especially when you start ranking. And then the next thing to do, last but not least, especially when you're new, is channel art. So you want to view your channel. And you'll notice, right, it looks kind of blank, right? You got no profile picture here. What we want to click on is customize channel. And you might not have any graphics yet, but we're going to make graphics. And again, how could you get some graphics for this? You need a YouTube banner and you need a profile picture. The profile picture could be, I'm going to upload their logo for them and their banner that they have made from the graphic design team. Now you could use Fiverr for this as well. Okay, so what we would do here is let's first update a profile. Now I didn't get the brand icon yet from them, so I'm just going to add something though. Let me just edit this. And this is linked to your Google brand account. So that's why it opens up here, and that's why it opens up here. And we would click here to upload a photo. And again, I'm just picking a random image from their site that I had saved. And there we go. Obviously, when they give me their profile logo, it's going to look a lot nicer. I just want to show you guys. So we save. Got it. Next thing we do is come back over to the YouTube channel. Now, this is going to take a little bit. I could try to reload it. Let's see. All right. So it actually happened pretty quick. Sometimes that takes sometimes like an hour or more to upload. But you see the logo will appear there. Then we're going to add a nice banner here. Click Add Channel Art we're going to hit select from computer I just chose a quick banner thing that they have again they didn't send me their banner art yet I'm waiting for the graphic guys but we're just gonna choose this you can click auto enhance it helps the enhancement select and now it's updating here again you could get these graphics made right on Fiverr the next thing I want to do is about you could add your email here. I'm not going to do that. Channel description. I like to add a nice description and talk about what the channel is about, what they're going to learn here. Definitely do that. And then this is powerful too. People forget to do this. Add your links. You could add five custom links. Add your website. Make sure the title you could put here is website. And then I would put their website here. Then add another one. I could put their Instagram. You could do this for yourself too. 
Instagram. Put the URL here to your Instagram. And then here, Facebook. And then you're just going to click done when it's done. And then they're going to actually appear right here on your channel. So people who visit your channel could also just click them. So, you know, you're really optimizing. You're going to send traffic over to your other social profiles. Makes you really look legit. Now, remember, this is just the basic stuff, but it really does help all this stuff. The most important thing, though, is staying consistent and putting out videos. So now all you have to do is put out your first video. I'm telling you, post your first video, start getting some momentum, and really that's all the important things. Obviously, there's also analytics you could look at, but you could look at some of my other videos. I just wanted to show you an overall of exactly how to start and set up and optimize your YouTube channel and also give you some insights of what's important to make you have a successful YouTube channel. I'll leave all the resources down below in the description of this video. I hope that video really gave you a lot of value. I hope you understand now how to take action and build your YouTube channel even if you're a beginner. Moving forward, 2019, 2020, YouTube is a big platform. It's just really about getting momentum, taking action, staying consistent, and using the tools and advice that I'm giving you here. It's really powerful stuff. I know that you'll get traction. I know that you'll get subscribers. I know that you'll get engagement, especially if you're consistent, you're committed, and you're putting out value-based content. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone that you know that this may help, and I'll see you in the next video.